So we are basically stuck. But we ain't stuck stuck. We still got the winch. I just give it a send. And it's on top of the sticks. Back on up. All right. Okay. All right, so now we're going to... Well, he's just going to back down, I think. You going to back down? Back down with a little speed, get down there next to the water, and then we're just gonna have to pull both their hands. We got you. Keep it afloat. Perfect. Right. Now, time to use some muscle. All right, so we almost made a mistake when the way we pulled in there, we were gonna back up to the boat like that. But we can't turn around once we're down there. We well, luckily we caught it, so pull down there and turn around. We try to drag it, it just can't with our hands, but I think we got this plan. I mean, we don't have a plan. We're skating on thin ice here, but, um, it's gonna it's gonna work out we get hooked up we're gonna pull forward and then we'll back down all the way next edge of the water oh we're hooked up come on we're about to go to the river warming up good it's supposed to get in the 70s uh, there was frost on the boat this morning when we woke up. We just slept in the truck down here last night, so uh, Anyway I think the jet boat's the right tool for this river, but this truck The three-quarter ton is not the right tool for this sandbar. You know, if your if your truck had a tunnel in it, it'd probably handle this sandbar better. Oh, I, I never got stuck in the first place. <laughs> Here we go. It ain't gonna dry, it don't get deep enough. We're gonna have to push it off. Didn't get as deep as we were imagining. It was a lot better than over. Oh yeah, we got some. This ain't nothing, we can load it. That was easy. I'm just gonna kill it there, step on the side. sucking up mud. Uh, me and Matt, we're up here at, uh, we're in South Bend, that's what we're going to call it, on the Brazos River.
Oh, boy. All right, that was probably a mile stretch. I didn't pull the phone out at first just because, well, I was busy, but. There, uh, anyway, I got that track with the same. A mile stretch where there was no stop, and if we stop, we're going to be pushing for a long way to find a little hole about like this deep. I mean, we're doing, pr I think there's enough water. We can keep riding. Or do you want to say we done pushed our luck? Mm. We done pushed our luck with your truck. <laughs> I'm feeling lucky. Yeah. Well, man, I think I'm going to, I think if I come up right here, hairpin it to the right. Yeah, bounce off that boat to the left. Yeah, bounce off the one to the left. Yeah, I think we can make it. <laughs> This is uh, over Hubbard Creek Lake, or Hubbard Creek Reservoir, and we don't make any difference. This is where it flows into the Brazos right here. Uh, we're going to keep going, but this is definitely half the water flow coming down the Brazos right now, so we're about to run out. It's going to have half as much water as we just did coming down through here. All right, we're in about 18 inches of water. We're about to get on it. It's an awesome little shoot right here. Let's do this. We just got done running. We went up from, we're below, uh, I mean, we're above, above Possum Kingdom, which is right down there. I don't know what, probably 15 miles. Yeah. And uh, got her back on the trailer. We're gonna sit though Dodge can get us out of here. We ran up, I mean, probably 25 miles, almost to Newcastle. Uh, but man, epic stretch of river. Like, uh, I don't know what to tell you, but uh, hopefully we can get out of here. Let's go. Get the winch and pull on out of here. Right about here. All right. We are winched up. All we got to do is just get up there on the side of that hill and it'll be plenty good. Throw a little sand in the boat. The tires are barely rolling. This little stretch, the first time I've ever been up here. It's the first time Matt's been on an airboat one other time. But uh, never ran this far or nothing like that. Uh, it really was. It, it's a great place to ride. Like, I, I've got to come back. It's going to be hard to tell on the, like the water level because I don't know if I got footage of it. There's a like Hubbard Creek Lake reservoir runs in down there. I think I may have mentioned that actually. I'm not 
to look ahead. There's actually quite a bit of water coming down here. So once we got past that, we actually lost the 70 or 80 cubic feet per second that's running underneath that bridge that's right up here. But uh, that being said, I don't really know what we were running in, but let's see. We're almost out now. Get this uh, winch rolled up, get that boat locked down, we're gonna head back to East Texas.